Uh, hey everyone, Nalo here, and Nintendo uh, yesterday just released a new trailer and a report for Metroid Dread, which is focused on the trailer. Um, so I thought I'd dive into this one because this one looks really freaking good. Um, uh, I wasn't able to make this video in the last few days just due to work and stuff, so with all that, that crap out of the way, let's get into it because I'm actually pretty excited for this. Um, I've already seen the new trailer, but god, it looks good. Um, there's a good few spoilers in this for gameplay and stuff, um, but Jesus, this looks... this makes me hype for the game. Um, so they introduce a few of Samus' new abilities, some of the mysterious terrors in ZDR, um, but let's just... let's just... I'm gonna pause the music for a moment, and, uh, let's just watch. And I'll point stuff out as we go along. This will probably be more of a trailer dissection. So you see the pyro suit. Which is uh, great. I'll be talking over it because you, you can watch the trailer anywhere. This? What the fuck is that? What What's that? Is that a Chozo? I'm actually really hyped for this. This looks like a Chozo. And I mean, like, as far as I mean, as far as the Metroid lore at the moment goes, Chozos have been, you know, kind of they've been Samus's like foster parents, I guess, you know, like Samus's parents died directly and the Chozo raised her. So I have no re no idea why the Chozo would be evil if they've been made evil by someone if maybe they're hunting samus then because like she killed the metroids that ability that looks so cool you know what this reminds me of this reminds me of um akuma from street fighter he has a sort of a ability like this where he kind of floats back and forth that looks so fun that right there um we see the chozo here literally metacrate <laughs> for whoever wanted that i'm very surprised to see that Ridley isn't in this trailer, but uh, I wouldn't be surprised if he was in the game. Uh, underwater, of course. We see the power suit, too, which looks really good. Um, a couple beams, double jump, ice ice missiles. I think those were ice missiles anyway, so it looks like they're returning from fusion. Or the fusion missiles, I suppose. Invincible Chozo there. Um, yeah, those are ice missiles, definitely. Bombs that seem to, like, go up. Invincibility Chozo? Oh, you can parry to get rid of the invincibility seems. Grapple Hook is back, so I was wondering if that would come back, because, um, the Spider Magnus, or was Spider Magnus? Yeah, you, I, I wasn't just sure if this was going to come back, but it is, and it looks like they share grapple points with the other uh, Spider Magnet ability. So that's good, and you can still use it to pull things, of course. What is this? They're not Emmys. Are the Emmys, like, I'm starting to think the Emmys... Have are the fed and maybe the Emmys aren't even made by the Federation and they're made by the Chozo, but I don't know. This missile ability looks really weird. I thought this looked really weird at first, like locking on missiles. That I don't know, but uh, I, I'm starting to like it a bit more. I think it could have some like cool combat abilities. This I, I'm really liking the cutscenes they've made so far. Um, we see an actual boss battle here against this Chozo thing, and I feel like this is a type of boss where we'll see it more than once in the game. Like, you'll fight it more than once, and so maybe it'll have new abilities. Shine Spark is back. This was probably my favorite part of the trailer. Literally, well, Speed Booster and Shine Sparking's back, which... Um, Screw Attack is still there, which I was I was wondering about, because there was, like, a double jump um, ability that I was wondering what it would re replace, which, I mean, maybe not Screw Attack, but Space Jump or High Jump, maybe, but is Screw Attack still here? So I'm, I'm very happy with that. We can see the sort of, like, teleport move again there. This Chozo literally looks like, you know, like, anti-Samus. Um, Harry. Cool cutscenes. And whatever is going on here. And you can actually... Hear. I don't know. I, I assume that's Chozo language, but... I have no clue what's going on here. But, uh... This was a freaking good trailer. The first trailer was great because it, I mean, it announced the game of this is a much better trailer, in my opinion. Um, I don't know. I, I just, it just shows off more abilities and stuff. And this, this Chozo, like, wasn't, statue Chozo armor dude wasn't shown off at all in the, in the first, like, part, part of, you know, the first, like, all the E3 coverage and stuff. This, this wasn't even a thing then. So I'm really curious what that's about. Um, so. I'm going to put back on the Samus Returns music. And we see Samus arriving on ZDR, the same Chozo dude. Um, powerful, mysterious figure strike soon after she lands. So this is soon after, okay. Um, 
Uh, if you've watched a glimpse of Dread Clips, you may have noticed that the place where Samus finds herself under attack is the same place where she unexpectedly collapses. Yeah, so Samus collapses. It was in one of the, the previous trailers that was uh, more so just a couple of clips of stuff. Um, so, yep, you guessed that Samus was defeated by a mysterious opponent and lost almost of her, all of her abilities. Okay, so that's why they're going for, for, uh, for her losing them. So this Chozo seems to take the abilities from her, which would make sense if they kind of originally made their, her power suit. And maybe it's an artificial Chozo from the Federation. I don't know, really. Uh, her defeat caused, as one might say, ability amnesia. <laughs> How was Samus spared from certain death? Why was she left behind? Please play the Metroid game. Or Metroid Direct game. Will do. <laughs> um, to, to discover the truth with your own eyes. Um, this was... I think this was another trailer. This was the one I was talking about, actually. So we see Samus's ship from um, Fusion. Which is cool. And, you know, you get a bit, little bit of an introduction to the X-Power so I, I really like the power suit. Um, it looks really freaking cool. So this seems like the start of the game, where Samus will lose her power suit at the start. X-Power Sight, obviously, from Fusion again. Uh, Samus is just doing, you know, typical stuff in her ship. I, or I really like the design for the ship. Obviously, comes back from Fusion. Uh, the Emmy were dispatched to investigate. So they probably are Federation. I mean, that's kind of been said, but... Um, but, yeah, <laughs> they disappeared. So that's just, we, we see, we see some interesting stuff. It's more so towards the end of this. So that confirms Adam is back. Well, I think, anyway. I mean, I, I feel, I, I take that as confirmation that's Adam. Like, I mean, it's, he was in the ship's computer at the end of Fusion and says Lady, so. Anyway. Samus is sent to investigate. It looks like she doesn't crash land there. She is sent just to investigate and then becomes on. I think I, I I think what's happening is she gets sent there to investigate lands and then gets attacked. I don't think she gets attacked before she lands, but I'm not 100% sure on that. I, and I really love the detail on like the blue uh, like veins or whatever you want to call that on the on the power suit. I really like this design. It's so like sleek and modern looking. And here seems to be a Chozo ruins temple. Um and yeah. There's there's just they're just showing a lot now. Um so the most interesting thing is the Chozo dude, obviously. Um appears to be a Chozo, a highly intelligent technologically advanced species who believe the purpose to be that of bringing peace throughout the galaxy. See that's why this 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 just doesn't add up. Um they reach a breaking point, and living Chozo are now rarely seen. Uh, peaceful and mild-mannered. Um, but Black the Federation records ex uh, indicate indicate the existence of Chozo warriors. So there are warriors in the Chozo tribe, which makes sense. Um, and remnants, remnants of Chozo civilization have appeared in prior Metroid games. Um, yeah, this is, this is the first game where Chozo have a huge present. Like in Zero Mission, I'm supposed to give you your abilities back at the end. Um, there's some kind of temples and statues, obviously Chozo statues, but uh, no living breeding Chozos. And my dog is barking, so I don't know if you're going to hear that, but uh, he's very excited to play Metroid. <laughs> uh, in addition to video shows, what appears to be a Chozo warrior, as well as a combat robot, what a striking Chozo resemblance. Okay, yeah, I, I guess this is this is a Chozo uh, robot. Um, abilities on display, this, this is the most interesting part, and you take a look at what these uh, abilities and weapons are called. Flash Shift is the thing that reminds me of Akuma from the Street Fighter. Uh, can travel a set distance, forward or backward, while on the ground or in the air in an instant. Really looks like fun. Um, this can be done consecutively up to three times, handy for exploration and combat alike. For combat, that seems really fun. Pulse Radar, returning from Samus Returns, not much to say about that, scans your uh, area. Grapple Beam, again, returning from pretty much every Metroid game. Um, let Samus swing, cross gaps. Pull on obstacles. Um, yeah, that's that's uh, ice missiles. I suppose they're not called the fusion missiles now; they're called ice missiles. Um, and again, they return from fusion. They just freeze enemies. Regular missile, storm missile. This is what uh, this is this lets Samus lock onto and fire multiple small missiles in succession. Set up the five targets at a time using free and then unleash it to fire three missiles at each target. So this seems to be maybe what this is. This is doing here. I don't know how though, because Samus is in morph ball form there, and you can't, you can't stand up there. But 
Oh, this is the cross bomb. Okay, never mind. Storm missile's here. My bad. Cross bomb. Okay, so it, it like bomber man, I guess it, it explodes right, left, up, and down. Um, that looks really cool for solving puzzles and stuff. I, I feel like there may be some puzzles where you have to like block a certain, maybe like uh, if you use the bomb, it will explode something and damage you or stuff like that. I think that could have some cool abilities. Speed booster. You know, pretty much every Metroid game. Um, you um, not not anything new. Uh, Shine Spark again, not something new to the series, but something really cool, and I'm very happy to see that because it wasn't in Samus Returns. Um, Screw Attack again, nothing new. Happy to see it back. Um, damage enemies and shatter certain obstacle sheets, and so basically how it's always worked. Um, there are so many new and returning abilities revealed in this trailer. Yes, uh, as it may be difficult to wrap your head around everything shown, if you will only watch it once we suggest watching the trailer an additional time after reading our commentary uh, in particular the abilities for traversal are much improved when compared to previous metroid games and we think you'll be able to enjoy a variety of ways to explore the map them i'm so excited for this game now um you can use speed booster in combination with wall jumping and sliding uh the places where you can do this may surprise you that's good we hope you lots of uh try lots of different things on your adventure here's meta crate which he looks really freaking cool um Meta create these random Emmy by robot things. These possibly I wouldn't call them Emmys. They're probably like mini Emmys or something. Uh, the trailer includes other notable scenes too. For example, you can spot a giant monster that appears to be Kraid. A beast Samus has fought in previous games. Uh, I, I don't know how I feel about them revealing that in the trailer because like that's kind of a big spoiler. I think it would have been a cool moment to not see that or to see that like first time in game, but whatever. Um, just like in previous games, there's a rich variety of enemies and bosses standing in Samus's way. There are many different types of bosses, especially uh, key to victory against such enemies is to carefully observe their behaviors and create an appropriate attack plan. In the next report, a closer look at the mysterious Chozo. Please look forward to it and pre-order now, but I've already done that. Um, <laughs> that's half the reason I went to work, actually, is to, is to be able to get the special edition of Metroid Dread, but um. Yeah, so if, if the next report uh, focuses on new stuff, it may just focus on stuff we already know about the Chozo, but I might consider doing a video on that if it does. But um, I just want to make a quick video on this because this this is this has been the best like report slash trailer of the game yet because we see new abilities, new bosses, new story. We see a lot of lot of new new cool stuff, which makes me really happy. Um, so I cannot wait for this game to come out in October. Um, but that's about all I have in this video. So if there is another interesting report. I'll probably make a video on it, and I'll see you then. Thanks for watching. Ciao.